So we're going to get ready to get started here. Little kids running <laughs> off the pitch. <laughs> We'll probably see him, what is it, 63rd minute, 67th minute or something like I that? I think it's the 65th where they do the flag run. Yeah. I think Eric might be leading that one again. Yep, absolutely. Or maybe Joe. Here they go. Chattanooga players running onto the field now. Everybody's saying hello and good luck to each other. I that is one thing I value about uh, soccer. Hockey similar, where you say hello and acknowledge each other. You don't just hit the field and start hitting each other. <laughs> We'll wait till the third quarter in hockey for that one, right? Right. No, they do it at the beginning and the end, <laughs> just like soccer. Oh, hitting each other? No. <laughs> I was going to say. Depends on the team. Luckily, no penalty boxes yet in soccer, but you never know what FIFA's going to do one day. So, as we see Tyler Gavar right there with the referee. Ready to do the coin flip. Referee showing both sides of the coin. Let's see who got it right. I can't tell from here, but looks like he's talking to Gavara. So, yep, it'll be... I'll be on San Diego picking that side of the field. As Richard Dixon says his final goodbyes to the refs. And here comes the team photo. All right, here we go. Fans getting into it right now before the opening whistle. With their chance. I think they got some new chance this year, too. We'll see what Eric and Elizabeth have going on with Joe over uh, there. Absolutely. Eric was in rare form at the Loyal match. He was uh, truly a one-man band that day. It he took on the entire Loyal uh, fan section over there, the and Loyal it, supporters. And it killed me that I couldn't make it. I lived like two blocks from San Diego State. And yeah. I would have been, oh, man, they're going to win the championship. We're going to go to the U.S. Up Open Cup game. I couldn't make it either, but... Great run by the Aztecs in the NCAA tournament, making it all the way to the final. And we'll see if San Diego can be represented here today with a big win against a very form formidable team, Chattanooga FC. Absolutely. Absolutely. Watch this young team come together, uh, you know, work on playing as a, as a union, which is not always easy to do, especially when they're all young, young, young. They, uh, did, they did have plenty of... Uh, uh, scrimmages early on in the season, though? Yeah, they did play uh, Cholos de Tijuana. They played LA Galaxy. Fresno, I would still call them Fresno Fuego. I'm so sorry. Central Valley Fuego. Very old school. Yeah, absolutely. They And they played uh, a Navy team. That's right. They slaughtered those guys. So that was good. Promising to see. Just a few seconds away from the whistle, folks. Referee doing his final check right now. And here we go, Chattanooga FC with possession. Gonna go with the long pass. Little header. Ball up in the air, still loose. Goes all the way to the back towards Gene Antoine. He'll it's a keep good, it. good efforts by uh, Albion to maintain uh, the direction of the ball going in the way they want it. We have a whistle, it'll be a foul on Albion. Free kick for Chattanooga. Referee going to have a word right now. A little too much exuberance. He's trying to keep things calm, especially in the first few seconds of the game. You never want to let a referee <laughs> lose control. Absolutely. I didn't think that was too too much. but Great I guess. with possession into the box, and let's get deflected out for a corner kick for Chattanooga FC. All right, Ben Roach. We've got to pay attention to these. They were a little bit of a, a, a sore spot for Albion last season, so hopefully they've worked out some kinks. He's going with the all-green today. I haven't seen him look like that in a while. So Absolutely. He had that all-black kit in the semifinal last season. Yep, he sure did. This Chattanooga is about to execute the corner kick right now. A lot of players in the box. Ben Roche doing his best to uh, maintain eye contact there. But Ball up, deflected, and it's a oh. goal! Chattanooga FC scores quickly in the second minute of play. Off a corner kick right now. We see the replay, Mary Beth. Oh, we're going to, here's the corner kick. And uh, they get a couple touches on it. And, and yep, the header heads toward there. I think it would have made it in even without the uh, effort from the other team player there. Very well executed corner kick, deflected up in the yep. air. It almost looked like a double header, yeah? It was hard to see right there. It sure is. Get confirmation right now on the goal scorer. There were so many people there. And we see some contact in the middle of the field. 
players being no whistle from the ref. He didn't see that, unfortunately, but there was definitely contact in the field between two players. The Albion player went down. Play keeps going on. Tyler Guevara gets it back. Now Chattanooga with the ball in the midfield. A lot of chippiness right now to start the game. Referee's going to have to keep an eye on that for sure. Absolutely. Can't believe nobody saw that. I thought there'd be at least a stop of play right there. Two Absolutely. guys going at it. Two, yeah, two assistant referees and a referee. Chattanooga slowing down the pace of the game. No pressure yet from Albion San Diego. Keeping an eye, keeping it. It's still technically in their half of the, on the in Chattanooga's half. So Albion's letting them do their thing. So you hear the fans right now trying to pump up their team. Definitely not the situation you want to start off with at home, but still plenty of time left. So we hear a whistle. It'll be another free kick in favor of Chattanooga FC. As there was contact right there. Yeah, he's uh, still on the pitch. Hopefully he gets okay. He's going to take this kick. See if he takes it long or if he just gives it a touch. Ball repossessed by Albion San Diego. And there's another contact right there. Yeah, this oh. game is really physical right now. He's going to have a word. Which Jonathan Bazias goes down. When he played less than four minutes and a lot of, a lot of uh, feistiness, as we'll say. But yeah, Exactly. Several whistles already. Now the ball gets rotated around. Sends it over to Gabe. Some pressure here from Chattanooga trying to regain the ball. Middle of the field right now. Some more pressure here. Avian needs to be careful. Gets rotated all the way around. Back to Ben Roach. Long pass. Gets deflected by Chattanooga. This is header. Here comes Corey Lundin getting control of the ball. Sends it over. Taylor Gray with some pressure. Back to Gabe Robinson. Taking his time, gives it back to Roach. Here's some more space here for Albion they can work with. Gabara and Bedoya. Here Ball we go, gets Chattanooga intercepts. Yeah. Albion regains possession. I hear Jonathan Basayas with a throw in. No. Sorry, there's going to be a throw in for Albion San Diego right now. But again, Chattanooga with some more pressure. They're definitely smell blood in the water here. Albion's still got a lot of control right now, which is good. It's a good sign. Yeah, definitely want to keep your patience right now. Don't let the scoreline get too much in your head. There's still plenty of time in the first half. Absolutely. But it's definitely a wake-up call when you fall. As here, Albion. There goes Corey Lundin up the sideline looking for another man. Sends it over to Musa. Musa goes Musa. into the box. We oh. see contact. <gasps> is That's going to be a PK. Right, he didn't call it. There was contact. It was outside the box, but the referee kept the whistle on that. You could see the arm extension on that one. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, uh, the fans are not happy with that one. That happened right in front of us too. So Chattanooga with the pressure right now, trying to regain. And they see a goal kick now for Albion San Diego. So you can maybe see the replay on that one. Wow. That was, uh, that was a clean clothesline for them. There's wow. the contact. It happened barely outside the box, but it was wow. definitely a foul that the referee missed on that one. Now Avion starts their counterattack. They got some space to work with here in the midfield. Trying to penetrate the defensive line. Pass goes across. He's got a chance for a shot. No, the Chattanooga player gets there right in time. Wow. Recovers possession. They are not afraid to do some takedowns today. But Rashid Willis making this presence felt already for Avion San Diego as they recover the ball. Nope, Chattanooga keeps it.
How they play it back. Taking their time now, getting set up a little bit, sending, uh, giving some instructions to the front. Trying to create some space, break through the Albion defenders. Good recovery here. Ooh, on the ground again, that's a Musa. Manages to get it away. It's going to be a Chattanooga throw in. Oh, no, it's not. It's an Albion throw in. Trying to find an open teammate right now. Decides to go long. Chattanooga recovers. Knocks it all the way up to the Albion side of the field. Up in the air, need to be careful with that. Nagos, that's an expert at regaining possession right there, but Albion's good with that one. Chattanooga still with the ball, though. Now an opportunity for Albion. Sends it over. But Chattanooga again, good, quick with the feed. We're going to have a whistle here. No, deflect it out. It'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. That was a good tackle. It was clean. Looking for an open teammate. Ball up in the air. Deflect it out. Now we get a whistle. That'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego. That's good. They deserve one at least. Tyler Gabara, team captain, sends it backward. Back to ends up back to keeper Ben Roach. Ben sends it over to. Uh, Gabe Robinson. Gabe's looking for an open man. Watch out here. Recovered right. by Chattanooga again. Man, they're really good with the pressure this few 10 minutes of the game. Now Gray. Trying to break through Lundin. He gets the pass in. No offside position. Oh, Great ben job by Roach. Oh. But the ball goes through for a goal. Chattanooga FC. That's two on the board. Good job. Here is the replay, Mary Beth. Here we go. Chattanooga just turned it around really easily. Gives it back to Gray. Gray's one of their better players also. Looking for the man right there in the middle. Just wide open. Roach manages to get a glove on it. And sends it. He almost got the second one, too. Deflex it. Exactly. He got a glove on it, but wasn't able to stop it. Here's another look. Good turn right there, by the way. Just takes his time. Very patient. Same thing with Gray waiting for the open man. Defenders kind of slow to react right there. Ben Roach did whatever he could, but too yeah, much exactly. time. And definitely uh, two to nothing down for Albion San Diego. One of those situations where you Is have to kick it in overdrive right now if you try to maybe get one before halftime, cut the lead in half, and then Sounds settle up from there. Yeah, exactly. We can do it. There's plenty of time. Pl plenty of time. Okay, yeah, we were just informed that uh, normally teams wouldn't have uniforms so close in color like this, but I guess today Chattanooga had a little technical glitch, and so they had to go with their light blue. So luckily they don't match too closely to Albion's. Now we see Albion Sandy were getting possession in the midfield, but now Taylor Gray, good recovery by him. He's got some room to work with. We're going to get a whistle here. We might see the first. No, referee's just going to have a word with him. Final warning for the player for Albion San Diego. Which I find interesting because I there have been some plays that have missed the other way. So we see the replay of the foul right here, Mary Beth. Gets through Taylor Gray. There's the contact right oh, there. Yeah. Kind of had his leg out there. Alex McGrath. Looks like he's going to execute the free kick. See if he decides to go long or short. They're going to go long right here into the box. Nobody there. Ball gets knocked up, straight up in the air. Still alive. We get a header from Musa there. Nagelstad almost with the shot. Ball. Lundin goes down. Looks like down. there's a handball right there that the referee's calling on Nagelstad. It'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego. Corey Lundin's wiping his face. I wonder if he's bleeding. Ben Roach sends it to the far left side of the pitch. Oh, 
And back to Ben Roach it goes. Left side was not the side. Got some more room right here if they can. But here comes the pressure from Chattanooga. Musa. McGrath, and they recover. So the open teammate right there. Some oh. Guevara getting there to cover and knock it up. Regain possession for Albion San Diego. Managed to break through. I hear a whistle. It'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego. They take it quickly. Trying to maintain possession and maintain the pace on the pitch. Over to Gabe Robinson. Up to Musa Daria. Daria Musa, sorry. Again, relentless pressure. Chattanooga recovers. Trying to create an opportunity here. Good close out by Albion, but they maintain possession. Ball oh, comes across the Nagelstad. Watch out, and the ball gets deflected. It'll be a goal kick for Albion San Diego. But again, those turnovers, Mary Beth, are costing opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nagelstad looked very upset that that call didn't go the other way. Well, if you're Albion San Diego, you have to settle down here. It's only the 14th minute right now. Obviously, the score line's against you, but again, plenty of time left. Ball gets deflected up. Regained by Chattanooga. That was not a handball? Uh, we're trying to carry a chance here on the side. Good close out by the defenders. A little bit of pressure here by Albion San Diego. And they recover the ball. Gabriel Robinson back to Ben Roach. Tyler Guevara, back to Roach. Robinson pushing forward. Over to Musa, gets it past Gray, up to Lundin. Oh. Almost got through. It's intercepted. Chattanooga no hurry right now. Some contact, no whistle. Here is the whistle right there. The Ned Burton contact. It'll be a free kick for Chattanooga FC as Nagelstad needs a second. There's a replay of the foul. Little pass right over. It looks like he might have overextended something when he kicked. I can't tell. Here we go. And it'll be McGrath starting play. As he goes short, the ball's going to go all the way around. Back to McGrath. Pushes to the midfield, trying to Taylor Gray. He's open, he's onside. Can he get to it? Oh, he, he does. He does. Gets into the box. Short pass, oh. deflected, shot, knocked out. Recovered by Albion San Diego. Chattanooga loses footing out there. Oh my Contact goodness. Contact right there. Jonathan Bazias gets his feet taken out from under him again. This is pretty chippy. Ben Roach taking command again. Tries to go to the midfield right now. Sends it up to Bedoya. Bedoya is unable Knocks to it control out. it. That'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. Here's the contact again on the We're replay. We're going to see if we can see where he gets hit. Oh, Jonathan Bazias. Yeah, gets it. Right there, taken out. Yeah, one one leg, and then that takes his other leg out. I mean, that was a border borderline yellow in my mind, but the uh, referee's letting him play. So I think the one earlier was a borderline <laughs> yellow. <laughs> see how things turn out at the end of the game right now. As another free kick is issued to Chattanooga FC. And the fans trying to get their team motivated. This is not definitely the start that they wanted. But, again, we're only in the 17th minute right now. Absolutely. They're not looking too badly at all. Like, you can tell they're just getting warmed up. That's some conversation now by Chattanooga FC players. See what they're going to decide to do on this free kick. See if they're going to go long. They do. Ball gets deflected out. It'll be another throw in for Chattanooga. Yeah, Albion's got to get some uh, control of the ball in front of Chattanooga's net. 
Chattanooga's defense is definitely, it's actually really more their midfield. Their midfield is able to scuttle them away from the ball. And they're creating turnovers too, so something they got to keep an eye on here as they're trying to create another opportunity. Defenders around, pass goes backwards. All the way back to Gene Antoine. Gene mm. gives it a solid boot. Now in the midfield. Pass goes short. Nagel Taylor Gray. He's one on one right now. He's got a teammate to his left. He oh. does go to him. And he can't keep it in. That'll be a goal kick for Albion San Diego. That was a pretty sweet touch by Gray there, though. He saw him just at the last second, but couldn't keep it in. Ben Roach quickly starts play again for Albion. Again, the pressure incessant from Chattanooga FC. Wow, hardcore, hardcore, wow. Yeah. Albion needs to be careful here, trying to create some space. Just they go long to the midfield. Yeah, you can't, uh, sometimes you don't have to find that open player. Just make sure it's not in the way of the net. It's Garcia Sosa. Now trying to create something on the side here for Albion San Diego. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Can he break through the player? No. Good job by the defender recovering possession. But Albion keeps it. Tyler Guevara. Chattanooga steals it back. Stays out. It's out of bounds. It'll be a throw-in for Albion San Diego. Some contact there. It'll be a whistle. Free kick for Chattanooga FC. And we're going to see our first yellow card of the game. In the 20th minute. Probably get to see a replay on that as well. A little bit of push in the back right there that the referee deemed that was intentional. Here we go with the replay. And the foul be on Jonathan Basais. I think maybe that was just because he was from behind, but that was not as hard as some of the other hits I've seen today. Both teams need to settle down a bit, especially Albion. But, you know, they've got to play to the same energy as Chattanooga. Chattanooga is definitely chippy. Yeah, they brought the intensity today, that's for sure. That's both of their goals coming off the pressure that they've created in the midfield. And now they decide to go long, trying to find Taylor Gray. He's onside. He's onside. He got through the defenders. Can he get through Ben Roche? He does. It's goal. Chattanooga FC. Taylor Gray. Breaking through the back line of the Albion defenders. Here comes the replay. Stays on side, and here's a replay. Here we go with the long boot. Beautiful cross all the way up, right up to Taylor Gray on side. Roach gives it his all, but is unable to get his glove on it. My goodness. I mean, there's got to be some communication there between the three defenders. It's not like they didn't see it, you know? They went yeah, right through them. Exactly. Took the ball forever to get all the way across the pitch. Whew. Ben Roche is doing his best, folks, but it's three to nothing here. 21st minute, Chattanooga. Albion is um, unfortunately missing one of their key defenders today in Ernest Mitchell. So I think that might be uh, some of the, I don't want to say confusion in the back, but... Definitely helpful to have some experience right there in the back, back line right now. Mitchell is a really excellent stop, stop man. Well, we'll see what how Albion and San Diego responds right now. They're trying to get a chance here. Get through the line. It's right to Gene Antoine. Good positioning by him, but at least a shot opportunity on the goal. Chance for Albion San Diego. Cadono. Cadono takes that shot. Ball up in the air. Out of bounds, it'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. Oh. Quick one, sends it back. We finally see some, a little bit of pressure here from Albion San Diego, trying to recover some sense of urgency right now. See another contact here. Referee gonna have a word, but just calls the free kick. Yeah, they got to keep their heads here. You can't be just fouling every five seconds because it's definitely not going to... Absolutely. We cannot have red cards and playing short. That would not bode well for Elian today. Chattanooga starts play. Goes long again. See if that works for him one more time. Ball up. Ben Roach gets to it. Now starts... Slowly, methodically, the possession for Albion San Diego. Nagelstadt putting the pressure on. 
If you just tuned into the game right now, three goals for Chattanooga FC in the first 20 minutes. And none of them from that Marcus Nagelstad, if you can believe it. But Which he seems like he's not happy with. He's not <laughs> pleased with that. Now they're throwing for Chattanooga FC. Ball gets knocked out. Another throw, throw in, in for Chattanooga. Take it quickly. Ball still in play. Gabar right there. Good coverage. Chattanooga maintains possession right now. Close Ooh, out. Good job by him closing out the angle. Thinking about starting off fast, but he's got to be careful not to turn it. Can't, can't turn it. Mm -hmm. Get through right there. Albion San Diego does. Oh. Shinya Kidono. We got I some think that contact. That was a play on. That was an. Yeah, that was definitely a foul. Free kick. Referee checking on the player right now. Let's, uh, let's see if we can see where he hit. See the contact here where it happened? Here we go. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it looks like they both took a... Yeah, the Albion San Diego player, Rashid Willis, got the worst of that one. I'm sorry. Let's move Mamosa on. got the worst of that one. He's up, which is good. Start play. Sends Ball it. goes. Rotate around. Some more pressure here from Chattanooga. Very active. They regain possession because of that pressure. But good oh, job. By that that would have been a two-to-one break. Anthony Patty, look at that. He's a one-man band right now. Gabara sends it forward with a in outside Ball touch. gets through. They got a chance the here. One-on-one. -on -one. Can oh. he get through? We got contact. Free kick. We might see the first yellow. We are going to see the first yellow at Chattanooga FC. On a clear scoring chance here. Close to the box. That's danger zone. And here comes the replay right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. One of those tactical fouls you can't let the player through. I believe it was Richard Dixon, if I'm not mistaken. Or Jung Woo So. Now the free kick opportunity here. See if they can create something. A lot of players for Albion, five, six players in the box. Ball gets threw up in the air. Knocked out by Chattanooga. As we see a pose, this might definitely be a yellow right now. That was definitely intentional. Trying to prevent the two-on-one break. Second yellow card for Albion, San Diego. And uh, Bedoya there. Daniel Bedoya. Yeah, back to back tactical fouls. You can't leave your goalkeeper in a situation where the offense has the advantage. So, understandable right there for that yellow card to happen. Chattanooga back and play. Sending it back. Rotate the ball around. Again, more pressure besides trying to re regain possession. Taylor Gray. Ball in the midfield. They get through. Joseph Perez with the matching blue hair. Gabar right there, one on one, defending. He's got some help right now from his teammates. Chattanooga taking their time. Ball gets through. Try to send it in, but goes through Nagelstadt's legs. Shot up, up in the air over the crossbar. That'd be a goal kick for Albion San Diego. Joseph Perez with the rocket. They are creating chances, dominating play here, creating the better shots. And. Uh, yeah, if you can get one before halftime, Mary Beth, that would be ideal. Definitely you don't want to go down for nothing against a team like Chattanooga, that's for sure. Absolutely not. But I think I'll be in starting to warm up. You know what I mean? They they look like they're a little more cohesive and they are getting themselves closer to the net. So, you know, that defense really needs to shore itself up. I think if they do that, they're they're in the game. They're in the match. Definitely look like a team Chattanooga does that's been playing for a while. Oh, this is the first game for Albion San Diego. They have some space here right now. Corey Lundin. Ball gets knocked up out of the air. Another whistle by the referee. No yellow card. He's going to have a word with Lundin. Yeah, I. some of these calls are in interesting. You know, I, so we see the replay right now. This is soccer. They are going to contact each other. There was contact there. But didn't deem a yellow. card. And now Chattanooga taking their time. Gene sends it over. 
Now we have Aiden Bowers with it. Oh, and he gets contact there again. A referee coming in. He got dispossessed. That would have been a good one, a good breakaway for Albion if they could have gotten it. Cadono. Now Gene Antoine going to put the ball back in play. Goes long, trying to find Taylor Gray again. They have had some success with those long passes, and there'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. Joseph Perez. Well executed, trying to find a teammate. He's going to go with Gray again. Chattanooga, another throw in. In no hurry whatsoever. We still have plenty of match to play. Ball back in play. Ball is still in, still in play. Shinya Kanona trying to keep it in. Perez. Ball goes rotated around. Not a lot of pressure yet here from Albion San Diego. Now Shinya Kidono forces the issue. And we hear a whistle, and it'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego. As we're about to enter the 30th minute of play. Chattanooga with three quick goals to start the game. Shinya Kidono knocks it up in the air. Recovered by Albion San Diego. Tyler Gabara sends it over to. Ball goes rotated around. Musa can't keep it in. It'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. And if you're Diego Gomez right now, Barry Beth, what's going through your mind in terms of the last 15 minutes to play here in the first half? Uh, I think everything that we've been talking about is going through his mind as far as uh, defense shoring themselves up. Uh, I think the midfield is doing a decent job of uh, keeping some control, but the three back need to uh, be better at on the break so that these guys can't get close enough to the net. I'll be on with the throw in. See some more pressure here from Chattanooga FC. And there will be no whistle advantage for Chattanooga. Nagelstadt gives it a tap, but Ben Roach was able to grab it easily. It wasn't anywhere near the net. Chattanooga not happy. They didn't want that advantage right there. They definitely want the foul, but the referee let him play. And now I'll be on San Diego. Just trying to create something. Bedoya there. Back to Bedoya. The back to Galara. Just nothing. There's no space right now for Albion San Diego. Exactly. Ball gets knocked out. It'll be a throw in for Albion. That's Anthony Patty taking the throw in for Albion, number five. Over to Ben Roach. Maybe on the next throw in we try to go toward the net. Musa gets it on the right hand side. To take oh, tries to get it up to Willis. Gray gives there. him a stymie. Here's Bedoya, gives it back to Robinson. Ben Roach rotating the ball around again. Over to Anthony Patty, who sends it up the line to Corey Lundin. Corey Lundin is all over the place today. That'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC this time. Again, speaking of Diego Gomez, we're going to have a halftime interview with him. So hopefully you guys stick around for that. Very interesting insights about his experience, what got him to San Diego as becoming the new head coach for Albion. Ball gets knocked out. It'll be another throw in for Chattanooga. Again, methodically moving the ball down the field. Chattanooga keeps possession. They're going to take their time with this one.
Recovered by Albion San Diego. Corey Lundin sends it up for Jonathan Bazias. Jonathan, to oh, tries to create something. They maintain possession, though, for defenders around him. Willis is able to grab it, sends it over to Bedoya. Bedoya sends it up to Cadono. Cadono Good pass. Up. Cross oh. into the box. Knocked oh. out. We needed uh, Bazias to be back there. One more player needed to be in the box for that one. Yeah, that was a beautiful set of passes, though. Beautiful. As Albion quickly starts play again. Gabara takes it up. Trying to get through the defenders. He gets the cross off. Oh, right over to Willis. Willis sends it over to Bedoya. Can they get the shot? The shot up. Oh. Just wide. But they created something out of nothing Absolutely. out of that one. Absolutely. That, that was a beautiful series of plays for Albion San Diego. Bedoya sends it just a little bit wide left. But it was a beautiful effort on his part. Gene Antoine getting ready to take the goal kick. A big fan of taking his time. Goes long, trying to find an open teammate. Instead finds the head of Tyler Gabara. As Albion recovers possession in the midfield. Lundin plays it back. Over to Patty, yeah. over to Roach. Ball goes rotated around. Robinson now got some space to work with. He wants to push forward. He's got Musa and Willis on the right side pretty much open. Gives mm -hmm. it to Musa. Musa sends it back. Back to Roach. Trying to find just a little bit of snippet of space here that he can work here with. Comes some pressure hard from Chattanooga. Damian Rodriguez. Watch out here. Got to keep possession right there. And he pays it back to Ben Roach. Robinson again. I'm sorry. Ben Roach passes it back. Passes it around. Now Musa. Taylor Grew with a little bit of pressure. Falls, forcing the ball back. Oh, my, oh, oh here my comes another goodness. stolen ball. That another opportunity for Chattanooga FC. Can they put it away? Oh. Goal. Nagelstad. Very happy to have finally have one. Chattanooga FC, Marcus Nagelstad with the fourth goal. As we see the replay right here, another turnover, Mary Beth. Absolutely, and uh, that was a clean takeaway from Chattanooga right there. Just no, just keeps it in stride. That was beautiful. Sends it back to Roach. Roach does his best, but he's only one man. Yeah, that no goalkeeper in the world is going to stop that one right there. I mean, yeah, those defenders need to get back there. I don't know what they're waiting for. Look, yeah, they're just hanging out in the middle of the pitch. Yeah, to Robinson just too slow to react on that one. And I mean, Ben Roach did all he's good right there, but it's a n nightmare scenario for any goalkeeper right there. Yeah, absolutely. You got some midfielders coming back, but we really needed to get. Um so definitely not the start that I'll be on San Diego wanted, folks. I'll tell you that. Not the team you want to be down to, especially for nothing. Absolutely not. In the first half. And now Albion trying to create something here. Short pass. Can Cadono get to it? Pressure. Oh, but he sure does try. Did his best to get that one, but Gina Antoine beat him to the spot. Now he goes long. Sends it all the way up to Gray. He's onside. Gray can't get it, so it comes. Some contact there recovered by Chattanooga FC. Garcia Sosa. A lot of space here in the midfield to work with right now. Rotate the ball all the way around. Tyler Guevara, one on one. Gets through the defenders, keeps possession, gets the shot off, but it's over and out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for Albion San Diego. Again, the fans trying to get the energy going for their team. Never going to give up here with the fans, the support that they've shown all of last season, making it to the final. Now Ben Roach. Plays it short, Tyler Guevara. Chattanooga not satisfied with the 4-0 lead. They've still got players in front trying to recover. They can smell again blood in the water here and take advantage of exactly. a team that's playing their first game of the season, regular season at least. No whistle. Lundin regains it. Now possession. Shinya Kadono, can he create something? Taking it up all by himself, passes it over to Willis. Willis is open wide on the right. Can he get through? He does. He makes it across. across. Oh, Jean Antoine with a good 
save. Good close out there by Jean Antoine. Absolutely, but Albion is putting a little pressure on. I'm telling you, if they could get this defense together, they're in this match. Yeah, one goal here would definitely be something that would at least help them out psychologically for the second half. Absolutely. As we see some more pressure here, they sense, sense an urgency right now for Albion San Diego trying to get that one goal. Here we go with Perez. Perez to Gray. Gray looking for somebody in the middle. One on one right now. Can he break through? Gets it short. Nagelstadt over Back. to Gray. Oh. Perez right now with the shot. Gets deflected out. Gabe. But he was offside. It'll be a possession now for Albion San Diego. Barely offside on that one. Hey, we'll take it. Gabe, Gabe Robinson was there. He stepped up. He's another one, you know, a one man band tonight. We've really got to start getting. Yeah, I mean, three of those four goals, you can't blame Ben Roach for those. I mean, there was something that no goalkeeper is going to be able to stop. Yeah, you have two two Chattanooga guys coming at you, passing it back and forth. That could be any, that could, ball could come from anywhere. So get a throw in here from Chattanooga FC. As we are in the 39th minute right now, play. Albion recovers, but it's out of bounds. That'll be another throw in for Chattanooga. In no hurry whatsoever. Now they have a chance here. They get through. Crossed. Gets knocked. Gets stopped by Gabara. Good job by him. Zayas. Oh. He had a good chance there, but unfortunately, send it out. Now it's going to be Chattanooga's throw in. Played short. A little bit of pressure here from Albion San Diego. They recover the ball. Shinya Kadono. Good job by him between three players. Oh, nice, nice thought. He saw Lundin open there in the middle, was trying to go for it. Albion keeps possession in the midfield. Kabara sends it back. Back to Anthony Patty, back to Roach. Roach has got to be exhausted by now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But the fans are still here. You can hear the drums going. They're still rooting for their team. Call. Ball rotated all the way around. Now in the midfield. Again, that incessant pressure from Chattanooga FC is just... They look like a team that's definitely got their all gears going right now. Absolutely. And again, with the addition of some of the um, Cal United players who are also seasoned. Musa, Lundin. Lundin holds on to it for a minute. Great, trying to create some pressure. He forces the ball all the way back to Robinson. Gavara, bit dispossessed. Nagelstad, flag goes up. He was onside. He was just waiting a split second more to be onside on that one, but the pass came too late. That would have been another breakaway opportunity right there. Ball back in play right now. Heading up for Albion. It's like Anthony Patty with the ball. Over to Tyler Gabara. Yeah. Chattanooga recovers. No. Nope. Albion keeps possession. Yeah. Watch out here. Up in the air. 50-50 ball. Shinya Kadona trying his best. Back Albion to keeping possession of the ball despite themselves. Andrew Kluszewski sends it over to Patty. Oh, with some hard pressure. Back to Ben Roach. Robinson. Well, short landing knocked out it. And it'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. They're going to go quick, obviously. They need to get something going on the final few minutes. Any sort of momentum going into the second half that they can build off of. Ball's played short. Taylor Gray right there, trying to recover. Flag goes up. We hear a whistle. It'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego. See if they can create something here into the box. Throw some players up there without risking, obviously, the midfield because that's where the uh, biggest weaknesses have been so far. Looks like it could be Tyler Gavara who's going to execute it. Very tense. This is a big chance for Albion. Throwing some numbers out there. See eight players into the box right now for Albion San Diego. 
With the left foot, cross, Jean reacts. Oh, looks like he might have hit somebody or, or just the ground. Yeah, landed kind of awkwardly, but he's back up right now. Gene had, uh, if you remember, a big injury last season. Oh, yeah, with uh, the contact that he had. Correct. Both players were injured pretty badly. It was with Albion. Um, Hop, Jacob Hop. Jacob Hop. Here comes Chattanooga again with the pressure toward the Albion Gets through into the box. Cross gets knocked up. Musa sends it away. Chattanooga keeps possession. McGrath got his foot on that, sends it over to... Recovered by Albion San Diego, so but Chattanooga relentless again with possession. Stays on, no, ball flags up, flags up. Nagelstadt offside again. Ben Roach was right there anyway. Now ball back in play right now. Back to Roach. Robinson. Two minutes left here in regulation. Wonder how uh, how much stoppage we'll have. Yeah, if the referee's nice, uh, probably wow. 30, 30 seconds, hopefully, because this has been an absolute nightmare of a first half for Albion San Diego. Need to regroup, go to halftime, see if they can get that goal that can give them back the momentum. But this is something, hopefully, maybe one minute, I hope. Yeah, maybe. He has had a couple cards. Got okay. Anthony Patty sending it back to Ben Roach, the keeper, Chattanooga. With, as Hector puts it, that relentless pressure. Be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. Chicken by Perez. Blue hair. It matches, that's for I sure. I was going to, blue hair's a good look. <laughs> I should, uh, <laughs> there goes Gray. Oh, unable to. They keep possession, though. Blundin tries to get a foot in there. Garcia Sosa. Some contact, or be a free kick for Chattanooga FC. Gray's going to play it back to Perez. Perez, short, no hurry again. Send it to Bowers. Bowers plays it back. Down the midfield, got some space to work with right now. Tyler Guevara, one on one, defending. And he's got some help there with uh, Kliszewski. Jonathan Bazayas gets a foot on it. Oh. Hear a whistle. It'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego now. Yeah. Jonathan got double teamed. If you had an Albion teammate to help him out, he might have gotten it out of there. Sends it back. Back to Ben Roach. <laughs> Robinson. And apologies for not uh, giving the names of the first goal scorer for Chattanooga. We need a confirmation on that. We will be giving an update at halftime of the four goals put some replays as well. Lundin sends it up to the corner for Jonathan Bazias, who is open, able to get control. Looking for somebody in the middle. Get, Takes. Almost gets through. Some contact right there. No whistle. It'll be a corner kick for Albion San Diego. Maybe their final opportunity to get into the score line right now. Correct. I haven't seen uh, what the fourth official has indicated for stoppage. How about just this corner kick, Mary two, Beth? It and looks like we're going to have two minutes, two minutes. for okay. stoppage. So. Good enough. Albion setting up. Nice cross into the center. Oh. Deflected out. Still possession right now. Get the shot off, but it's out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for Chattanooga FC. It was, yeah, it was a header by uh, Pepelito for, uh, for uh, Chattanooga. They got it out initially. Gene Antoine in no hurry to get the ball back in play. Definitely satisfied with the first. Actually, if you think about it, there were so many turnovers in the midfield that this is one of those score lines that is not misleading at all. It's definitely a 4 no feels like a 4 nothing game right now. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And again, it's unfortunate because if somebody had been back there, Ben Roach is really good at stopping the ball. Some contact, Musa no whistle. Chattanooga regains possession. Sends it up. McGrath is able to grab it. Takes it up the left side. Just knocked up and now it'll stay in the stadium. No, it's up in the parking it lot. <laughs> it went completely out of the stadium. <laughs> Wow, that was a long ball. Definitely some frustration right there on that on that kick. But uh, see if Albion on this final chance can create something. Perez trying to regain. Is knocked out. It'll be a goal kick. Oh, sorry. It'll be a corner kick, actually. Another chance here. Final chance for Albion, Albion San, San Diego. Diego. Huh. Look at everybody running up there as they should. Let's go. Come on, Roach. You got nothing to lose. Scooch it up there. 
Tyler Guevara. Getting ready. And as they said, as Hector said, they are going to um, play an interview that Hector and I had done with head coach um, Diego Gomez. That'll be playing during the half. And also um, here at the stadium, they're going to have uh, all kinds of stuff going on. I don't know if we'll get any film. And here, here it goes, is. Here Here's the chance. Gina Trump loses control. The ball up in the air. It's oh. just over the crossbar. Oh, that was so close. That was Wow, and we that was a final, really good chance. Yeah, that's the, probably the best chance for Albion San Diego. We have the final whistle from the referee as we go into halftime. Chattanooga FC, four goals. Albion San Diego, zero, Mary Beth. Indeed. Um, you know, it's going to have to be, they really are going to have to do some serious uh, reworking See when they come out. Diego Gomez has in store at halftime. Definitely not happy with the turnovers, I'm sure, in the midfield that created most or all their chances. Yeah, it'll be... Uh, they're really, really going to have to pull it together. But, you know, you could tell, like I said before, they were, they're starting to come together a little bit and uh, definitely got some chances to get some uh, balls on the net. Bedoya had one off to the left and then Cadono just had one that went just over from the corner kick. So I don't think Albion is chanceless in this, but they definitely cannot let Chattanooga get another one in. Period. End of sentence. It all starts with the first one. Get that first goal. See what happens after that. And um, miracles happen, folks. But uh, definitely sure. something needs to change for Albion San Diego the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, see, interesting. But if there's any substitutions coming in to start the second half, we shall see. We'll see what uh, Diego Gomez has planned. Definitely a first goal would be a momentum builder, something that can build off for the rest of the game. 4 nothing scoreline, you never want to be down, especially against Chattanooga FC. But again, those first few minutes of the second half are going to be um, really big for uh, Albion San Diego to try to at least do something positive to, to start you know, this, the regular season. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't want to go down in a huge, in a huge way on your first match. But again, like we said, they're a very young team, very, all very new to each other. And, uh, you know, only a couple of the returners on the pitch right now. I don't see any substitutions as of yet. But we shall see. Actually, I do believe that we might have a new player for Albion, but I'll confirm that in a second. As the ball is back in play, they decide to go long. Chattanooga knocks it up in the air, back to the midfield. Back to Ben Roach. Some space here to work with. Defenders get back. Tyler Gabara's right there. And Bazayas was trying to take it up. Gives it to Gabara. Gabara sends it over to Bedoya. Ooh, Bedoya maintains. Nice. Good job. Loose ball right there. Who can get to it? Albion does. Shinya Kadono. She's trying to find open teammates right now. Back. That's Tyler Bo. Jonathan Bazayas. One on one. See if he can create something. Ball is shot. Oh, what a deflection. Great shot by Jonathan Beautiful. Besides. Great great save there by Be the goalkeeper. Yeah, look at that for Albion coming right out of the gates. 51, 50 seconds, and they're already taking a shot on goal. Exactly what you needed to see. Yep. Sense of urgency right now. Not so much who's going to win or lose, per se, but something positive, you know, to, to build off for the rest of the game. Absolutely. Again, I think the front half is okay. We're going to wait to see what happens when it heads back toward... Mr. Roach. Gavada with the corner kick. Loose ball up in the air. Still in the box. Gets knocked out. Chattanooga. Yeah. Looks like Bedoya. Oh, gets a foot on it. Sends it over to Cadono. One on one again. Gets through. It's going to go for the cross. Keeps it in. Gets knocked out. It'll be a corner kick, actually. And uh, another chance here for Albion San Diego. Got Daniel Bedoya ready to take that. Got some numbers into the box right now for Albion. See if they can, they can score like Chattanooga did on their first goal. Maybe a possible deflection, something they can take advantage of. Ball's in. Up in the air. Long shot. Still possession for Albion. Bedoya is going to let it go out. He does. It'll and be we get a another corner. Corner kick. Some movement now in the box. Ball up in the air. Deflected out. Does it stay in play? No, but it'll be a throw in for Albion. 
Trying to execute it quickly right now. Uh, looks like we do have a substitute. We have uh, Bo, number 22, is on the pitch for Albion mm -hmm. right now. That was him that came into the game. As Rashid Willis is going to execute, he's going to go long. We can get to it. Gene, Gene is able to jump above. He is like 6'4 or yeah, something like that. I was going to say 6'4 with an arm length of 7 feet. Exactly. So. A wingspan. Ball back in play. Deflected back. Chattanooga recovers momentarily. But good pressure, and that'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. Bedoya between two defenders, gonna get through. Plays as the play, you play it safe. Sends it back again. And he makes cross over to the Jonathan Bazias, who's in the mid, takes it to the chest. Good pressure, recovered here by Chattanooga FC. Gets through the first defender. Can he get through the second? He doesn't. Damian Rodriguez is uh, trying to take it all the way up there. It'll be a goal kick now for Albion San Diego. Here are the supporters group and the flag wavers, everybody out there cheering for their team. Yeah, they never care about the scoreline. It's always 100% with these guys. So Absolutely. What you want to see. Ooh, almost a recovery there, but Albion maintains it. It's like to play short. Got some room to work with right now. Ball into the box. Gets knocked out. No, that's, actually a goal kick. That's another, that's more forward action for Albion, though. You can tell. Uh, I, I'd be very interested to hear what uh, the coach had to say to them at the half. Definitely pushing their lines forward. A little sense of urgency right now. Absolutely. Up in the air. Recovered by Albion. Still loose. Can they get to it? No. Gene Antoine's going to play it safe and kick it all the way to the other side. Gabara gets ahead. But Chattanooga recovers. They get through the line. McGrath has got some room to work with on the shot. Too much on it. Goal kick for Albion San Diego. Yeah, they've got, Chattanooga's got some wheels on them. And they're not afraid to use them. Plays it short. Sends it up to Bo. Bo's in the center, looking for somebody open to pass it to. Loses Ames. possession, though. Ames for Lindine. to be careful here. So I've got to try to get it back now. Back to Gray. Keeps it for his team. So he tries to find, plays it back now. Goes short. Shinya Cadona trying to get it back. Gray with the ball. Oh, almost a turnover there in the midfield that Albion could have taken advantage of. Now Chattanooga presses forward. Dixon looking for some space. There's McGrath. Trying Good to pressure do a here. Give Good. and go. Garcia Sosa. Good recovery by Albion. Lundin's. Ooh, Loose get ball. It Who's going to get it? Chattanooga here. Chance. A not scoring opportunity again. Ben Roach. Oh. Good deflection there by the teammates. Bo comes in there strong. Gabara with the boot. Sends it over. Perez takes it to the chest. Now, quick counterattack here. Bedoya. Bedoya. Oh, almost had a chance to turn it. Chattanooga recovers right now. Came very close to be 5 nothing right there, but he wanted the perfect shot. That split second was the difference. Exactly. They continue to press their line forwards. Trying to get it set up here. Deflected. Chattanooga keeps possession now. Got some more room to work with. McGrath turns it to Gray. gray. Got one on one. Can he get through? Good job by the defender. I believe that's Bo. Yeah, that's Bo. That's a good strong sub for them. Gray again. Crosses it into the box. He's open. Oh, right to Ben Roach. He was wide open. 
Sends it up to Bazias, who's got some time. Get a foot on it. Oh. Deflected out. That's one of those that you rarely see Chattanooga miss one on one. Two balls oh. on the pitch right there. <laughs> there we go. Taragavara. More pressure here from Chattanooga. Need to be oh, careful. Oh, Bo Nutmegs. Gray. Beautiful. Sends it over Lindine. Lindine's up the right side looking for somebody to pass it to. Gets oh, it up to. Can recovery in the midfield. Cadona. Almost looked like a handball there. Albion's definitely upped the pace with the pressure this half. Looks yeah, good. Sense of urgency for sure. And now the Chattanooga trying to counter right now. Good close out by Albion. Oh, beautiful. They recover the ball. But Chattanooga again. That's Jimenez Can't for Albion. It. We get a whistle here. We do. We get another yellow card. Chattanooga FC. We can have a replay here. Here we see. Right Albion there's a the contact yeah. for sure. Is that Willis that went down? I believe so. Play short, Albion San Diego back in play. Send well, it across. Nobody. Oh, aiming for Bazias again, but a little short. Now Chattanooga starts their counterattack. We got Musa making some plays, trying to get it from Gray. Two on one right now. Can he break through? Gets knocked out. It'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. Loose ball, recovered by Albion. Bedoya gets his foot on it. Bo over to Bo, all the way over. Sends it up the left side to Bazias. Bazias gets dispossessed again. Recovered by Albion San Diego. Tyler Guevara. Stripling is all over that. Ball gets through. Oh, Lundin. Oh, good oh, hustle. That good was hustle. beautiful, Lundin. Wow. Shinya Kidono gets pushed down. It'll be a free kick opportunity for Albion San Diego. See if they can do something with this one. Perhaps a cross into the box. They, this is a whole different team. Literally an entirely different team. Yeah, by this point. If the jerseys and the names didn't match, I would <laughs> say that they completely replaced them. Yeah, Chattanooga was already up to nothing, if I'm not mistaken, at this point in the second half. So definitely Oh, my a gosh. They scored within the first minute. Oh, Gene Antoine. Good reaction by him. Now Bo gets it back. Cabada between the defenders. All up the middle. He's going to try the shot, but... Gets deflected by it'll Dixon. Be, it'll be a goal kick, actually, for uh, Chattanooga FC. Oh, I guess it didn't get deflected by Nixon. Yeah. I thought it did. It had a lot of English on it, that's for sure. Now oh, Gene Antoine giving directions for his teammates where he wants them. It's going to go along, it looks like. Musa, oh, there we go with we a throw Albion in right getting now. ahead. Chattanooga FC throw in. Ball gets played back. Chattanooga no hurry right now. No, nope. sending it back again. Some pressure now from Albion. They recover, but it's all the way back to Gina and Swan safely. Again, you see the line being pushed forward by Albion San Diego. Chattanooga tries to turn it around and uh, make a make a break for the net. They got some numbers here, but good closeout. Lundin. Chattanooga recovers. Taylor Gray there offside. You go. He's offside barely, and that'll be a possession for Albion San Diego. They seem to be uh, perturbed about the call. I'm not sure what the situation yeah, is. Yeah, that was a close one, but I think it was the right call. Now Bo, the midfield. Here goes Lundin. Some space to work with here, but cool close out by Perez, I believe it is. And now Chattanooga. They got some room to work with. All of a sudden, Taylor Gray. They got some numbers, too. Look at Perez hoofing it up the left side there. Makes the break. Gray's taking his time. Got plenty of it. Plays it safe. Good recovery, uh, but there is a whistle. It'll be a free kick for Albion San Diego. I'm sorry, for Chattanooga FC. Here's Here we go with the replay. Gray. Got him with the left foot. Yeah, that was uh, unfortunate. See what Chattanooga wants to do with this one.
Again, taking their time setting up when you have a four-point lead. You're not in a hurry. Some directions there to the teammates. Looks like he's going to go into the box. He does. Ben Roach. Oh, loose ball, but he recovered because the player was right there for Chattanooga. So that was Oh, a my one. goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness uh, Chattanooga had overrun that and Roach was able to reclaim it. Tyler Gavara now. Some contact, no whistle. Recovered by Chattanooga FC. Gray plays it back. McGrath. Some close out here. Albion almost recovers. Garcia Sosa. We have Pepelita. Sends it up. Oh, oh here's Albion. a chance here. Jonathan Basaz, let's see what he does. No whistle, he still has it. Trying to get through. Oh, gets taken down. I don't know if the ref is giving them... Uh, yeah, I think it was a good play. I think he got ball on that one, but ball up in the air. Got Bo getting his foot on it. Bo, I, I like that addition at the half. He is making there a see somebody huge go down difference. There. And there's a whistle right there that we were looking for. Free kick opportunity. That was Willis going down. Let's see who wants to take this one. They go, go quick. They're getting ready, organizing everybody to do the flag run. As we see the kids right there. Coming there. up here in a few minutes. The General Eric in action, ready to direct the troops. We see a whistle will be a substitution right now. Albion San Diego, player coming out. Number 17, Lendine's going to be coming out. Yep. And who's coming in for Albion? Uh, Bucking? No. I thought that said 24. Yeah, it's a 24. I was like, we don't need a goalkeeper right now. For number 14, actually. Uh, it's uh, Do we? Mateo Incapié. 14 it was? <laughs> and it'll be deflected out. Chad New FC with the throw in. A little bit of pressure here. Almost recovered by Albion San Diego. That was a clear scoring opportunity right there. Absolutely. Loose ball. Chad Nuga still with it. Jonathan Basai is doing his best, but ball gets through. And now he's onside. Taylor Gray is. All on his own. Got a lot of room to work with. Defense has got some legs at least this time. The shot. Great ben deflection. Ben Roach. Oh, beautiful. This ball would be knocked out. It would be a throw in for Albion. But great job by Ben Roach. Yes, excellent job by Ben Roach. And it was a good thought by uh, Gabara to turn it. And here we go with the kids. Nope, they're getting ready. These guys are heading down to join. You, they're all down at the uh, far end there. Oh, that's right. Here we go. Long ball goes out. Chattanooga FC throw in. That's dribbling ready to take this. He has been all over Bazias today. Ball gets thrown. Good job by Guevara recovering. Beautiful. Now the ball up in the air trying to find Bazias. Cannot oh. find him. Ball gets up. Recovered by Albion. Guevara again up to Bedoya. Bedoya sends it up to the corner to Willis. Willis is able to turn it and keep possession. He's got some room to work with. Here come the defenders. We need a couple more blue jerseys here. Up. Plays it safe. Ball back around. Got Bazias over all open on the left hand side there. See if they'll get it up to him. Over Bedoya. to Bedoya. Bedoya hopefully there it is up to Bazias. Bedoya heads in. He's got him to his left. Oh, there, beautiful. There's a pass. Deflected right to the hands of Gene Antoine. This is, uh, this is a whole other ma match. What do you think, Hector? Yeah, it definitely looks different than how we started the first half. Yeah, absolutely. And now come the kids right now. Here we go with the flag run. Arr! This reminds me of the Indianapolis 500 every time I see this. Oh. Long pass. Can't find Gray. It'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. They go quick. Bedoya. That's Willis over there oh, with Willis. his feet. Yep. Yep. Now back Not to Chattanooga FC, the throw in. Taking their time. You know, the guy from Chattanooga FC, he has like a big stand. Have you seen that? He's got like a zone section. We got to get that for Eric. Oh, uh, yeah, you, absolutely. Him, right? I forgot his name, but yeah, he does a good job over there. And now, again, Chattanooga, slowly but surely. 
Did you mean the loyal? No, Chattanooga has one too. Oh, they do? Yeah, he, but he might be in the stands actually now that I think about it. And now ball gets rotated around. Got some room to work with right now. Tadagabara defending. Good job again. Gets knocked out. And it'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. Here comes the pressure. Gotta be careful here. Chattanooga recovers. McGrath, some contact. There's a free kick for Chattanooga FC. It's a little more chaotic on the pitch this half. Yeah, Albion definitely pushing their lines forward, taking Absolutely. more chances on the Chattanooga defense. Chattanooga having to make different decisions than they did in the first half, having to actually make decisions. Yeah, they've definitely cleaned up their uh, their game plan in the second half. See, he wants to execute this one. They got McGrath right there. McGrath and uh, Garcia Sosa. And McGrath, oh, does not take it. Gives it to Garcia Sosa, sends it Flat up. Foot. Oh, watch out here. Nagelstad cannot. Oh, he, that's not Nagelstad, is he? He tried to flick it right there with the back of his head, but uh, it just went wide. Good idea, though. Uh, that was Damian Rodriguez at number seven, I think it was. No, it was, uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Now Jonathan Basais. Oh. Fighting for possession. It'll be a free kick for Albion. Watch out, Jonathan. Careful. Yeah, get out of the way, Stribling. Ain't nobody got time. Albion is on it. He already has a yellow in the first half, so definitely something to keep an eye on. Yeah, we can't lose Basais to a red for this match and then the next two. Yeah, next game it will be against LA Force up in Championship Stadium. And we're back here on the 7th of May. Chattanooga, midfield. Plays it back. Almost recovered by Albion San Diego. Good pressure, though. Oh! Albion gets it at their feet, is able to hold on to it. Got Hincapi. Sends it back to Bo. Bo crosses it over to Bazias, who is wide open. Take yes. it up. Some numbers in the box. See what he does. Keeps Get it back. Possession right oh. in the middle. Oh! The shot. That was the same thing that he did yeah. in the first half. Yeah. Exactly. Good, good good idea, though. Kedona takes it to the chest and then is able to take his own shot right there. I would love it when you can pass to yourself. And goal kick. Gina Antoine sizing it up, trying to decide where he wants to place it. He's going to go long again. Up to gray. Can't keep, can he, he does keep, oh no, he doesn't, actually. That means Albion ball. We have Musa going to take that throw in. Sends it up to Willis. Willis is able to hold on to it, sends it back. Ball goes rotated all the way around. And over to Jimenez, ben back Roach. to Roach. Over to Patty, Anthony Patty. Sends it up the line, looking for somebody up there. <laughs> Zayas and Bedoya, but neither one of them can get it. Knocked out. It'll be a throw-in for Albion San Diego. Patty now. Right in the midfield. Gets through the defender. Taylor Gray trying to catch up. Still in possession. They got a chance now. If they can... Oh, nice little touch pass back to Bo. Cross Bo. to Basayas. Beautiful cross. He's got Gabata to his left. Doesn't see him yet. He had him for a split oh. second. We got contact, but no whistle. He, oh, he look at that. Possession. Kedona's still got it. Oh. Loose ball. Knocked out. And the shot up and over the crossbar. Basayas was looking for a foul there inside the box. Having some words with the referee for a second. We'll see what happened Here there. Here's the replay. See, look, I don't think there was enough there to call that, but, you know, good effort by him. Trying to sell that one. That'll be a throw in for Chattanooga FC. Again, in no hurry, up for nothing in the 67th minute. As we're about to enter the 68th. Go short. Bazias all gets ahead on it, but makes Ma it Chattanooga's ball. Maintains possession for Chattanooga FC. They go long on this one. 
Good closeout, but they maintain possession again. But Guevara right there. Back to Roach. Damian Rodriguez. Roach gets it out of the way, though. Up in the air. Musa's not able to get his noggin on it. So Chattanooga, Chattanooga retains possession. Stribbling back to Pepalita. Back to the midfield right now. they got some room to work with again. To Perez. It's McGrath looking for Gray. He finds him. He's got room again. He's going to try to cross. Slows it down. Trying to get to the defender. Oh, nice stop by like Bo. Bo again right on the spot just like he was a couple of minutes ago. And we get a corner kick for Chattanooga FC. This is dangerous for Albion. He's been called upon a couple of times. He res he's responded both times. So. Bo? Yeah. Yeah, more than a couple. Yeah, he's a great addition this half. Setting up their corner again. Nothing but time for those guys. It would be it would be nice to see Albion get at least one in. Yeah, break the goose egg right now. Again, it's not so much about who wins or loses at this game. It's about breaking that goose egg and it goes up and over the crossbar. Yeah, especially in this opening match for the season. Something positive for the next game against your rival. It used to be Cal United, now it's LA Force, but technically they're playing in Irvine, so yeah, exactly. you can combine Same it. vibe. Yeah, same vibe. Desias with it. Oh, does a little fake move there, tries to take it up the side, but it's... Dispossessed? Well, sort of. Yep, gets dispossessed. Whistle right now, and there'll be a free kick for Chattanooga. Good hustle by him, but just too many defenders around him. Garcia Sosa. Sends it up to Stribling. Stribling sends it back to Garcia Sosa. Over to um, McGrath. Got some contact there in the whistle. Player for Chattanooga goes down. We'll see if we have a... And we will get a... Card on this one. Let's see if we have a replay. Referees reaching for something. He's having the word with the player. And we have the replay. He's just having the word with him. Just settling him down a little bit. Okay, here we go with the replay. Tries to get to the ball. He does step on him a little yeah, bit right there. Takes that leg out from under him. Looks like all good, though. Incidental contact the referee deems. That'll be a free kick again for Chattanooga FC. Ball in the midfield right now. They keep the ball in possession. It's Perez holding on to it for a while. No, Play. No pressure from Albion on that. Now uh, they're pushing their lines forward now, but Chattanooga back with the ball in the midfield. Taylor Gray. Sends with it up pass. for Perez. I don't know if Perez is going to be able to get to it. He's onside. Here's a chance for Chattanooga. Good Sends closeout. Sends it back. Albion with the boot. Good closeout by Albion San Diego. Jimenez but gets a toe on it. Gray keeps it in bounds. Two defenders on him. Gets knocked. No. Still fighting for the ball, and it'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. As we're in the 71st minute of play right now. Gonna have Musa take that throw in. Trying to find an open teammate. See some movement. A corner score? A corner score? Yeah. No. Again, possession for Albion San Diego right now. And we see another substitution getting ready for Albion. See who it is in a second. Patty, Tyler Guevara back to Patty. Ben Roach. All the way around. Some pressure again. Chad New stays in bounds. Back to Patty. Basayas. Oh, takes it. It's got a big space in the middle. Caravara. Up to Bedoya. You got a cross in here if he wants. He doesn't. Turns it back to Bazayas. They are on him. Back to Patty. Bedoya to Patty. He does get the cross, cross in. Deflected out. Be a throw in for Albion San Diego. But get some good movement right there. Will is unable to grab it before it rolls out. Here's the other substitution for Albion. See who it is from this distance. But. Looks like Cyrus Tran 
Cyrus Tran is coming into the game. Who did you see who's leaving? Thank you. We've got uh, Musa, Daria oh, Musa. Musa, actually. Is uh, exiting the pitch. And we'll get confirmation on who's coming into the game right now. Was that Carrion? Was it 18? It might be, yeah. So now I'll be on San Diego. Gets through, but it goes all the way around, all the way to the back. And it's grabbed by Jean Antoine in no hurry again. But Tran ap applying some pressure. Like to see that. You know me, that's my move. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give those goalies a bloody second. Talagabara. With his outside left boot, that's his favorite uh, spot for touching the ball. And he's got some room here for Basais. Oh, take that shot, Jonathan. Trying to get closer. Got some teammates with him. Back. Oh, over Bedoya. to Bedoya gives a little touch so Bedoya can oh hopefully but take it in a little more, but ends up getting sent out. Cross into the box. Tata Tata Guevara. Guevara. Sends it over to Tran. Good pressure again by Chattanooga, forcing the ball all the way around. Trying to break through, gets deflected out. It'll be a corner kick for Albion San Diego. They did, uh, they look pretty good on these at, at the end of the first half. Maybe we can create something here, get that first one in, break the seal. Cross in, up in the air. Actually, there was a Michel Mendoza. Yeah, it yeah. is Mendoza. He's got the same look as Tran does. <laughs> they all got the yellow little thing, well, whatever it's called. But uh. Oh, opportunity here for Chattanooga FC. Good close up by the defenders. Nagelstad unable to complete. We've got the shot. It hits the post. Still loose. Bo with the boot sends it all the way up. Chattanooga is dribbling, able to get his head on it. Chattanooga it out. with their best chance right now to make it 5 nothing, but luckily it hit the post. And we uh, substitution here for Chattanooga FC. Rodriguez is going out. And Juan Luis Juan coming in. Here's the shot that we just saw from Chattanooga FC. On the pass. Gray. Oh, that's not gray. Deflected. Oh, oh I might have been deflected actually and hit the post. I think he did get his mid on it. All right, Patty back to Jimenez, back to Roach. And Musa, who is actually still on the pitch. Ball rotated around. Not a lot of pressure yet from Chattanooga FC. I think they're. Pretty satisfied with this score line right now in the 76th minute. Ben Roach pushes forward. Tyler Guevara gets it back for his team. To Patty. Bedoya sends it up to Patty, up to Bazayas. Some contact there and the whistle. Uh -uh. Chattanooga's fresh legs were applying the pressure on all three of those guys. Free kick opportunity here. It looks like it'll be Basayas who takes it. Basayas or Bedoya. This is where we need a little Playa's chip shot here. Yeah, let's break this goose egg, please. Okay, Basayas is on his own. He's going to hopefully arch it in there. Cross into the box. Got some players there. Knocked out by the defenders. Kept possession by Guevara. Sends it back to... Oh, recovered by Chattanooga. Careful here. Kinkepi. Trying to get to Taylor Gray. Gets deflected. All the way around. Jonathan Basayas. Trying to use his speed, but good recovery by McGrath. 
Oh, Jean, mm. Antoine. See, good. they apply that pressure. Yeah, good pressure. Yeah. Jean Antoine looking for a whistle. There was no contact. The referee says it'll be a throw in. I think Jean just slipped and he just wants special. Another deflection. Bedoya. Oh. Bow in the middle. All the way around. Got some room to work with again, one on one. Can he break through? Look at Mendoza making the moves. Everybody back for Chattanooga. Here's a long shot. Gets stopped. We got a shot opportunity. Gets deflected. Another one. Loose ball. Well, Still in play. Another deflection. And watch out here. Oh, Negostad almost got it back for his team. Good recovery by Albion. No whistle. All ball. Referee deems. See what Albion can do. Jonathan Basayas. He's going to throw a shot. Again. Defenders right on the spot. Albion definitely throwing numbers up. Jimenez in the back. He's doing a great job also uh, having come on at the half. They keep it in. Mendoza to Bedoya. Bedoya, wow. And now we hit a whistle. It'll be a free kick opportunity for Albion San Diego. Absolutely. Bedoya was able to get a pass off as he's going down. Let me see if we have a replay of that. Garcia also having some words with the referee. Not happy with that call. And here's a replay. Watch, watch him get that pass off as he's going down. That's, that was a good effort by Bedoya there. Yeah, there definitely was contact there. The referee trying to calm things down. The final 11 minutes that we got. See what they plan to do. Albion San Diego has a couple options. They can go for the shot or try the short cross into the box. That'll be either Guevara or Bazares. Stripling right there giving directions to his teammates what he wants to see. Jean crouched down. It's an interesting move uh, for the keeper right now. He's trying to cut off the angle. He's moving his wall exactly where he wants it to be. Here we go, Gabara. With the shot, deflected on the ball. Still possession. Jonathan Bazais. Do not lose the ball right there. Here we see another contact and another free kick opportunity for Albion. Bazais needs to get some ankle pads. Yeah, he's definitely put his work in today. And here's a replay on that, Mary Beth. Here we go. Bazias, yep, gets taken down on that ankle again. That's like the third or fourth time today. Young kid, sturdy. It's going to take this free kick. Yeah, it looks like it will be him this time. They're building that wall solid this time. Hopefully he, uh, Bazias has a chance to get it over. There's the whistle. Hit an angle so that somebody else can get up there. A shot Ooh. deflected by Gina Antoine. It got through the defenders, but Jimenez right gets chase, gives it to Bedoya. Bedoya still has it. Bedoya is pretty good at keeping it away from Chattanooga. Knock up and out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for Albion San Diego. So here's a replay on that one. Right foot, besides, but. Gene Antoine closed it out perfectly. Yeah, it would have been a little bit wide right, but yes, uh, Antoine taking no chances. Here comes a corner kick for Albion San Diego. Everybody into the box. Ball up in the air. Oh. Nobody gets to it. It'll be a, another corner kick for Albion San Diego. Padono tries to get a foot on it, unable to do it. Here comes Gabara trying to rush it up to pick up the pace. Too many balls on the pitch again. <laughs> Ball boy's got to pay attention to that. Talagavara. Ready to go. Look at the tons of movement in front of the net. The foot. Creating chaos. Oh, 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 my just gosh. Just knocked up. Gina Antoine loses control in the melee. Albion almost gets a shot. Too Doesn't, oh. Just too many bodies on there. I almost got through, but... We're going to have a substitution again for Albion San Diego. Let's see who this one is. This looks like uh, the super youth player, 15 year old maybe. The tall guy. Let's see who comes. They will also get a substitution for Chattanooga FC, it looks like. 
Here's the replay of the uh, little bit of the, of the melee and with the corner kick. Gotta go out with the left. Gene loses it. Oh, right we get there. a boot on it, but the defense is able to stop it. Just like they're supposed to. Here we go. Bedoya's out. It is. This is the 15-year-old, friends. This is a big moment, ladies and gentlemen, for Albion San Diego and... Uh, Sebastian Sedlo. For soccer in America. This is a 15-year-old signee. He played for Albion, San Di or Albion Las Vegas. He is a 15-year-old pro player out here, guys. This is huge. Making his first appearance today. And as uh, we see Albion on the counter. Shinya Cadono. Plays it short. Back to Guevara. Albion still with possession over to Mendoza. Mendoza sends it up for uh, the Zylo. Still with possession knocked out. It'll be a throw in for Albion San Diego. We got another substitution coming in. This one will Zimno. be for Chattanooga FC. Looks like, yes it is, Chattanooga. Leonel Alvergara. Alvarenga, excuse me, coming in. And Garcia Sosa leaving. Coming up, good shift by Garcia Sosa today, the former Cal United player. As we wait for the throw in for Albion San Diego. Got Musa throwing it in. Some contact, no whistle, still loose. It'll be a goal kick for Chattanooga FC. But as you were saying, Mary Beth, definitely two different halves, you know? Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Had they started like this, this I would say it would be even. Probably 2-2. Two, two. But you know what? Yeah, Chattanooga's also made some adjustments in terms of, you know, keeping possession. and. Well, absolutely, but they've had to make, you know, Albion has made them need to make changes in their play up in the second half. They had it easy the first half, not so easy this half. Yeah, no much communications we've seen so far from Albion that have cost any clear scoring chances for sure. So they've definitely cleaned up their their situation in the second half. As Oh, Gabar tries to get a foot on it. No good. Now we've got Stribling taking it up. Defenders trying to get to the ball. Plenty of Albion players to make him uh, make a move. Sends it up. Nagelstadt in the corner. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Plays it back to Gray. Ball goes right here around. Over to Perez. Chattanooga, no hurry. It's about keeping possession, milking that clock. Albion applying the pressure. Look they at that. The there goes Zidlo with the 15-year-old the with the pass up to Cadono. Two defenders on him. Can they break through? Get deflected out and oh, recovered by gets Chattanooga. taken down. No whistle right there. Chattanooga is sending it up the left side. I'm definitely smelling one more goal this game, but I'm just not sure who's going to score it. That's you the better, problem. It's Albion. Okay. It's Albion or nothing. I'll keep you to it. Chattanooga right here through the side. Guevara trying to make chase. Gets the cross and deflected out. It'll be a corner kick for Chattanooga FC. These are the danger zone. Got to pay attention to these. Another substitution for Chattanooga FC. See who's coming out. Negelstadt. Negelstadt. I guess, you know, at this point. Yeah, he got, he his, got his goal. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got his, uh, he scored the fourth goal of the game. We'll see who's coming in in the second. Taking his time, getting off the pitch. That should be a whistle. Delay yeah. of game. Yeah, we didn't see what number's coming in either, so we'll get that to you guys in a second as the uh, Chattanooga FC gets ready for the corner kick. Four minutes left in regulation. Less than that. They played short. They keep possession inside. Dixon okay. gives it a little push. They get the cross in. Loose ball and the goal. Chattanooga FC. Don't look at me like that, Mary Beth. I was hoping it'd be Albion, but uh, come on. He did this last season, too. Here's I, a replay right now. <laughs> He's holding. As they regain possession right now, the short gets through the defender. 
in point blank range right now. We'll get confirmation on that goal scorer as well. So it's 5 nothing Chattanooga FC. Once again, too much space. Oh, Baringa, it looks like. Oh, no, it was. Uh, Five nothing Chattanooga hits the pitch and gets a goal. It's the only way to do it. Uh, it looks like it's Lopez, Lenny Lopez. Yeah, that was Lenny Lopez. It's on the pitch for three minutes and gets a goal. Albion trying to get something going here in these last few minutes. Ben Roach rotates the ball around. Again, another turnover here. Those turnovers in the midfield have been deadly. As we hear whistle and a free kick opportunity for Chattanooga FC. And Cappy takes down. See the replay once again. Up at the foul right there. Trying to get to the ball. Gets the man instead. Mm, yeah, that was just some tangled legs. Referee deems it a foul, and now it'll be a free kick for Chattanooga as they're taking their time. Long pass to the side, Talagabara right there, trying to regain it, and there's a contact, and there's the whistle, free kick for Albion. So we're about to enter the 90th minute. How many minutes do you think, extra three, four? Yeah, maybe three. Yeah, it's been much a much cleaner half than the first half in terms of that. So, yeah, I agree with you there. Referee having some words with the Albion players. We're going to see a yellow card here on Tyler Guevara, probably for complaining. Yeah, exactly. Team captain is smoked out there. He's super hot. Yeah, I'm guessing he wanted a yellow card on that foul that happened against him. But, again, we're back in play. Ball back to Roach. Plays it around. Patty, trying to find Cadono. Good job by the midfield. And we see Ooh. contact again. Both guys go down. Powers and Cadono. And Ed Burton, both players Codano. going for the ball. But unfortunately, there was contact. Oh, my goodness. Is he out cold? Looks like Cadono is not really moving that much. He is out cold. Wow. Let's we'll see the replay, how, how he landed. Look, Gina and Tuan going over to check on him. Former teammate at Cal United. We've got the the trainer out there. Tyler, oh, Taylor Gray trying to tell the referee what he saw. And the referee is explaining why the whistle. Cadono's back up. Good to see. Shaking hands. Bro. It's one of those plays that uh, could definitely get somebody's attention if they, if they fall the wrong way. But luckily he's back up. He was out for a good 30 seconds. Wow. As Chad Nuka gets ready to put the ball back in play. All the defenders, everybody back for Albion San Diego. Trying Good to find ahead by Musa, sends it up to the Zedlo. Working it up the pitch, gets it up to Cadono. He's Cadono looks okay now. Yeah, got his head back on his shoulder, sends it over to Mendoza. Mendoza sends it back to Musa. Some pressure here. He's going to get the shot. Gets deflected up. Oh. Good job by the defenders again. Jean Antoine just cradling that. We are now officially into stoppage time. In the 92nd minute right now. Yeah, we have two minutes. So we're almost done here. About 45 seconds. Ball back up. Again, the next game for Albion San Diego will be against LA Force. At Irvine, one of their five matches this season. Gray trying to make some more something. Oh, some contact there. Referee's gonna go That'll get a yellow card. card. That was a frustration fall totally on Albion. Yeah, absolutely. Hincampi there. Hin Hincampi. Here we come with the replay. We get another whistle here. We get some action here in the midfield, but here's a replay on that one. Definitely a foul. Little melee in the middle. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see the referee just call the game uh, at this free quick. It's 
Taylor Gray's back up. Looks to be okay. Is that Cardano over there uh, bent in half? Is he still feeling the effects of... Yeah, looks like he's still feeling the effects of... Yeah. He's got the whistle right now. Final few seconds. Chattanooga sends it up. Musa gets and there's the final whistle. And the final score, Chattanooga FC 5, Albion San Diego 0. Game was put away early in the first half. Four goals, a lot of them off turnovers, miscommunications, and then Chattanooga FC scored one more, put the icing on the cake. And I think all things considered, Mary Beth, hate to say it, but a respect, not respectable, but I would say like a fair scoreline based on what we saw today. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. That first half was super, super, super rough for Albion. But, uh, man, oh, man, that second half by them. If they could have played like that in the first half, I'm telling you, this match would have been closer to closer to tied, I would bet. I would bet that Chattanooga wouldn't have gotten as many as they did, and Albion would have gotten a couple in for sure. As we see the players shaking hands, effort 100% from both sides. Jonathan Basai is right there. It's a pretty momentous uh, match. We had uh, the new coach, Diego Gomez, uh, you know, turning his men around at halftime, which was a beautiful thing to see. And then also some of the youth of Albion playing today. We've got um, uh, Mizel Mendoza. He was out there. Uh, he's 16 years old. And then they brought in the 15-year-old star from Las Vegas. Uh, Sabo is his nickname, Sebastian uh, Zidlow. And uh, they, they changed the tune of the match. So... Let's see. Uh, hopefully that's how they'll start off uh, on their against uh, LA Force. Yeah, definitely a lot of things to work on this week as they get ready for their next opponent. As we said, it'll be on the road in Irvine against LA Force on April 23rd. And then they're back here at home against Gold Star FC Detroit on May 7th. And another game against Savannah Clovers on May 14th here at Canning Crest Academy Stadium. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, your final score, Chattanooga FC 5, Albion San Diego 0. For Mary Beth Smuda and TVX Video, I'm Hector Trujillo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the 7th, guys. Have a good night.